In the last video, we produced each pair student's t-test using the FitYBX platform after we ran an analysis of variance. Let's produce the same output, but this time let's use our Fit Model platform. From the Fit Model output, we can produce our each pair student's t-test by going under the Effect Details section. Effect Details shows the details for the effects we have in our model. In this case, we only have a single factor, the factor of airline, and we're given the least squares means table, really the table of means for our different groups. To produce tests among these different means, we'll go to the red triangle next to the name of our factor, in this case, airline, and you'll see we have some similar options. Here, we have the option to generate the least squares means plot, which is something I recommend you turn on. This gives us the plot of the means, including 95% confidence intervals. To produce tests among these means, that is, the same test we produced on the left using fit y by x, we'll go to the red triangle and again select least squares means students t. The least squares means here refers to the means that were fit by our least squares modeling. These are the same means that we would find if we simply used distribution and broke up our groups by the factor of airline. Let me select least squares means students t and let me scroll down to reveal the output. We're given a slightly different form of the output, but in essence, we're given the same data. In this case, we have a table that gives us for each combination, that is, each comparison, Delta versus Southwest, Delta versus Virgin, and Southwest versus Virgin, including the redundant cells. Notice that Delta versus Southwest is the same as Southwest versus Delta, with the exception of which mean difference we're looking at. In one case, one mean is subtracted from the other, and in the other case, the other mean is subtracted from the other. Now this table is useful for us, especially when we're looking for the confidence intervals on the differences. But I would recommend, just like I recommended under fit y by x, that you go to the red triangle and request either the ordered differences report, which will give us the same ordered differences report we got before, or going to that red triangle, you select detailed comparisons. Detailed comparisons is especially nice because you'll get all the output, including that T-ratio and some additional details. I also like the representation of the sampling distribution of the mean difference. This is a nice way to look at how extreme our observed mean difference was relative to the difference we expect by chance, in this case, simply zero. The interpretation of this output, including the interpretation of the connecting letters report, is identical to the output we got in fit by x. And in fact, this output is identical. This is running the same tests, and these are the same output. It's simply in the context of a different platform. Again, the fit y by x platform over here is useful when we have a single factor. But as we move into more complex models, we'll have to use the fit model platform because it allows us to specify the more complicated models that we'll typically see in real research.